a tag team match scheduled for one oh. and a 15 minute time limit. Yeah. Introducing first, standing at six foot, 306 pounds, straight out of the Hoodlum House in Hagerstown, Maryland, the Hoodlum Eric Acton. The tag team champions are not here. Riot City's most wanted, specifically Jason Drake and Ron Holiday, are the HWF tag team champions. But they're on holiday. They're on strike, basically. After sickened, their leader, the Kingpin, was stripped of the HWF championship due to injury. They're not here in protest. But that doesn't mean that we don't have tag team action, and we do. 
as a lot of teams are jockeying for a spot at those titles when Riot City deigned to return as we see the hoodlum Eric Ecton going up against Mr. Eclipse Samuel Masters of Black Privilege. As we said earlier in the night, this is the night of debuts here at HWF. Black Privilege. Steve Steele making their debuts. But Eric Acton has been here before, so he knows what to expect from this live capacity crowd in Lewistown. That's right. The Hoodlum. Coming from the Hoodlum house, Eric Acton, he has done a lot of questionable things with a lot of even more questionable people. But one thing that is not in question is the strength of his hired gun, Steve Steele. What a massive, massive man. Come on, break out of it. As you saw earlier in the night, I mean, Steve Steele made his presence known by attacking Ray Scott and just dropping him like a bad habit. Just taking it to him because they were supposed to have that match earlier, but it just went to a new contest and he aligned himself with Eric Acton for this tag match here tonight. Yeah, these two here replacing the lost bros, bros of Eric Ecton's, who were supposed to have this match, but both got injured. And now we see for the very first time in an HWF ring, Steve Steele, nothing pretty about him. And tagging in for the first time on the other side is the springboard prince, Tyler Moore. This is a classic match of speed versus power. Tyler Moore, not a small man, very tall, but very, very, fast. Yeah, he has to, that's the one thing he has to do is use that speed against Steve Steele because if Steve Steele catches him, it's going to be it's going to be bad. Let me see what he can do earlier on tonight. And Springboard Prince had to take all of his body weight to try and get Steve Steele down off that rope. Moonsault three quarters of the way across the ring. Almost a quick night for Steve Steele. Beautiful say a moonsault. Kicking out already. This is Steele's second ever match. He was recruited by Eric Ecton, and I gotta give it to Eric Ecton. There may not be a lot of good things to say about Ecton, but Ecton certainly has an eye for fresh talent if he's the one who discovered Steve Steele. Huge drop kick. Says Steve Steele down, and a kip up. Black Privilege are gifted athletes. They are here to let you know, dang, this team really is privileged with athletic ability. And now forcing Steele into the corner and making a tag to Mr. Eclipse, Samuel Masters. Double into Gurry to the side of the both sides of the head of Steve Steele, just ringing his bell. Great teamwork here. Black Pumpkin just taking it to the higher gun. Eric Jackson just yeah. showing the showing the veterans that they are that's taking it to them here. Tyler Moore brings the speed and the high flying ability. It's Samuel Masters that brings the old school wrestling as we see him go for a gut wrench on the much larger Steve Steele. Look at that power. That is a wrestler, baby. Massive gut wrench suplex by Mr. Eclipse. Just take it out, Steve Steele. Had to cover only a two count. These two black privilege grew up together, childhood best friends looking to make their mark on professional wrestling five years a team. And no matter the size discrepancy, it's pretty massive. I have to say, I still think black privilege are the favorites given how long they've had that tag team cohesion. Five years professionally, a lifetime in terms of friendship. It's, that means that, I mean, as long as they just work as one brain here and one cohesive unit. Massive side slam going in for a cover by Steve Steele. Only a two. If they would, if they work together and put that brain together, they could easily, maybe easily, put away the team of Eric Acton and Steve Steele. Eric Acton told me that what you see is exactly what you get with Steve Steele. He's nothing pretty. He doesn't think he's anything pretty, but he is certainly effective. And we see that Eric Ecton, man, the brains on this guy. I think Eric Ecton is used to uh, being overlooked. He's used to being under assumed. People don't think that he's got a lot going on up there in the cranial region, but he does. The man's a mastermind and he takes advantage of a situation. 
Both men just taking advantage of the referee being distracted there by Tyler Moore just over here. Steve Steele and Eric Acton just take <laughs> stick it to him, just repeat his shots. Steve Steele waiting to take a take advantage of a huge penalty kick to the rib cage. Absolutely no empathy. Eric Ecton has never displayed an ounce of empathy in his life. He's certainly instilling that same set of anti-values to his, I guess, protege, Steve Steele. Steele. Leighton Choke in front of the referee. Steve Steele, Steve Steele disregarding the rules. Steve Steele. Ecton told me that he was bullied as a child, was Steve Steele. Steel, a very solitary guy, a survivalist, literally lives in the woods, doesn't like being around people, doesn't want to be around people. Being around people makes him mad, makes him violent. Eric Acton thinks that makes Steve Steele a great professional wrestler. Honestly, I find it hard to disagree, even though I don't like it for a bit. Oh, exactly, but him being around people just, the more and more he's around people, the angrier he seems to get, just because he has that mentality that they're just gonna bully him. Like the back of like the back of his gear says, there's nothing pretty about him. I mean, no, he's here to hurt people to survive. Steve Steele just wants to make enough money to get home, get back into the woods, kill some creatures, munch on their flesh, whether it's raw or cooked. As big as he is, I'm surprised I haven't seen Steve Steele fight a moose barehanded to kill it. Now well, you know, <laughs> wait long man. enough, that could be the main event of our next HWF show as Samuel Masters. Out wrestling Steve Steele. I think that's what's gonna have to be if you're gonna take down Steve Steele and Eric Ecton. You gotta use what brought you to the dance. That's speed and wrestling acumen. As there we go, the Springboard Prince just knocked Ecton looping. Huge, massive drop kick off the top, right in the jaw. Going in, going for a suicide dive. Eric Ecton with a thunder shot to the side of the head. Absolutely decked him. Just whacked him right in the face. Impeccable timing by the hoodlum. He is unassuming. He is dangerous. He is Eric freaking Ecton. Thunder shots in the back. Eric Ecton out taking advantage. Now let's be clear, Eric Ecton has done a lot of very, very bad things, and he's looking to do a very bad what? thing to the Springboard Prince! Power bomb! Going for cover! Two! Only a two. Oh. And a kick out. Comes kick out by Tyler Moore after getting driven by a person in the canvas. Ecton in absolute disbelief. He thought he had power bombed the Prince straight through the crust of the earth as Samuel Masters on the outside forced to watch as his childhood best friend just takes it as Ecton even has time to berate our front row fans. They paid tickets to listen to you, you piece of trash. Thunderous knife edge chop. Ecton's trying to call a see him. And again. Ecton loves pissing people off and tonight Ecton is having a party and the big leg of Tyler Moore meets Ecton's fat face. Huge kick to the face, going for cross by Eric Ecton with a, with a capture. Couches him in the air with the greatest of ease. Pushed him up for Fireman's Carry. It would have been safer for the Springboard Prince if he had been on a trapeze, but instead he found himself on top of a hoodlum. And oh, and a beautiful DDT, beautiful counter. By Tyler Moore with a DDT dropping X straight down on his head. Trying to get to advantage, see if he can make a tag to his partner here. Tyler Moore has absolutely one strategy that could be successful at this point, and that's get the heck out of Dodge. Make the tag, get fresh, get Samuel Masters in. We saw Masters give Steve Steele a gut wrench. We know Masters has power. We know Masters has technique. If Masters can get in, he can be a difference maker. And the tag was made, Steve Steele in. This is the worst possible thing that could have ever happened to Tyler Moore. Like literally, this is the worst possible thing followed by that. Going for cover after Thunder Seppo drop. I don't know, he's not dead. Uh, genuinely, how does he not have a heart attack after that? Just crushing chest with a huge ass elbow drop. Hoist him up. You're more likely to survive a rock slide than you are Steve Steele. Bad point. Beautiful scoop slam showing off the rock. 
And Melissa Power here, Steve Steele going in for another cover. Only a two count. How the heck is Tyler Moore? Oh no, he's choking him. Steele just got frustrated and said, if I can't pin him, I'll kill him. Shot to the head. I mean, just looking. Don't. He's just pressing his skull down into the mat. Gosh, all of the respect in the world to Eric Ecton for finding Steve Steele. Tag was made. Here comes Eric Ecton again. Now, the downside is the team of Ecton and Steele have kept more in their corner. They have physically cut the ring off. They've been incredibly effective. You would have literally never known this was their first time tagging as now all of the blood rushing to the brain of Tyler Moore. You're not, oh wow! Tyler escapes! Drunk is acting, but sends him into it. Sends him really get the masters. Steve Steele literally didn't even feel it. He didn't even feel it. He's feeling those shots though. Tyler Moore starting to bring the fight. The masters in the ring. Trying to tell what happened. Steve Steele just tag made, and here we go. Masters finally making his way into the ring. Hoist him up on the shoulder. Just lawn darts his tag partner right into the ribs of Steve Steele. Beautiful teamwork by Black Privilege. Yeah, never seen anything like that before. Tyler Moore, I don't even know how this man is still standing at this point. It seems like they're trying to transform once again. And this time, Eric Ecton's knee was exactly where it needed to be. His knee to the face by Eric Ecton. Tyler Moore down. Masters is in complete disbelief what happened. Both teams are just taking it to each other. What a battle this match has been. Yeah, there's one person in the world I don't want to be right now. It's you. Because, I don't know, who wants to be you? But if there's a second person I don't want to be, it has got to be Tyler Moore. Look at all the punishment he's taking. I'm just kidding with you. I mean, I know I one person I don't want to be is Steve Steele. I mean, look at that dumpster fire over there. I mean, with a face like that. But I mean, I will literally never say anything like that about Steve Steele. He could kill you. What in the world are you doing? It'll be all right. Tag was made. All right, I'm just complaining. I'm just going off of what's up on his gear. Eric Ecton has sent in the human powerhouse to finish it off. I think that we are in the third act. I'm pretty sure we're hitting the climax. I'm pretty sure we're hitting the end of the career of Tyler Moore. I don't know how you go home and recover from this. Oh, what a springboard modified stunner. And Steve's still reeling. And Steele seemingly out on his knees. And for the first time, Steele completely incapacitated. Tyler Moore has to make the tag. Left man down. He's Hey, the ref initiating the 10 count, and both men don't make it up to a beat, and Canada smashes a draw. But both men spent that perfect, that perfect counter that Spring Bolton Stunner just drops Steve Steele out cold. Both struggling, not even just to get to their feet, just to make it all the way to their partners. Steele gets there first, but maybe more importantly, the freshest man in the ring, Masters, with a master's degree in professional wrestling acumen, taking it to the hoodlum. Sends him reeling in the ropes. Choke slam. It's Matt Intelligence versus Street Smarts right now as Samuel Masters goes for the pin. Two count. Masters, the freshest man in this match, just taking his character with a choke slam. Looks back up for a spent. So Masters looks like he's gonna have to go to Saloon for a little while just to see if he can some low and drop by Eric Acton. Just completely squashed his arm and got stuck behind his back and able to push out. Eric Ecton and Steve Steele have absolutely dominated black privilege over the course of this match. The only hope was Master is able to get in, and so far it has been a false hope. Our right, Dr. Clothesline, Thunder Steve in the face. 
He's trapped him. He's got his neck in a vice. And Ecton forcing his way free. Shots the head, picks him up, back up for Fireman's carry. He's taking him back. Back up his corner. Tag! He was looking for the no vacancy. That Fireman's flapjack that Eric Ecton has used so successfully in other promotions. And Steve Steele is here. Wait a second. Ray Scott. Ray Scott got laid out by Steve Steele earlier. And it looks like he's got a receipt in mind for Steele. And now Ecton. Ecton in disbelief. Just being thrown out like the trash he is. Ray Scott returning that receipt. With attacking Steve Steele. Vin Vance. Strauss with the boot. Springboard. Got gotcha your neck! Got gotcha your neck! Got gotcha the win! Got gotcha the win! What a beautiful! Got gotcha your neck! What a match, ladies and gentlemen! Black Plymouth picking up the win with an assist from Rick Scott, who returned the favor from the attack earlier tonight. That beautiful got gotcha your neck! Legitly got his neck! Huge win by Black Privilege making their debut. They have made some momentum in the tag team division, but nothing compares to me to what we have seen in Steve Steele. If that was two matches in, that man is gonna be a killer.